PC, Jasmine, Dejani, this is Dr. Reed. Uh, Emma, heard a lot about you from the lads. That's worrying. I didn't recognize you out of a uniform. Am I reading the signals right? Fancy going for a drink sometime. <laughs> <laughs> People are looking. <laughs> Dead them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Let them look, right? Oh, come on. At least let me watch. It's a definite no, all right? Back off. Jasmine, Jasmine, call the police. Are you all right? Please just take me off. I can't wait to hear why a police officer doesn't want to report a hate crime. They'll know that I couldn't defend myself or protect you. We either report this together, or I will do it alone. Please don't dump me. Hello. That kind of a morning? Yes, I'm afraid it is. I didn't really get any sleep last night. You've got this. Have I? You have absolutely nothing whatsoever to prove to him. Were you leaving? No, I was I was just gonna check that I'd locked it. I don't want to be the victim of another crime. Morning. Spotted you from the entrance. Oh, Ren. Hi. If you're both ready, you can follow me in. As will ever be. Emma. Sorry, um I was just taking it all in. And there's a, a seating area for um, smoking or fresh air. Neither of us smoke. <laughs> Unless, of course, you've started. No. Great. OK, so uh, I'll let you settle in, and then I'll give you fair warning before I bring in Blake. So what do you think? So, do you want to come to tea? We should tell him we're still together. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Right. Well, Ren mentioned about, you know, being open and honest. But if we tell him the truth, then he'll feel like he's won. We've barely spoken in, what, nearly two years? I mean, I don't even know if you made it into CID. Dies de journey. Really? I shouldn't have let you go to the station alone that night. I still feel awful about it. I came because I couldn't let you down again. I'm glad you're here. Do you know much about his other attack? The, um... The victim left a lesbian bar in Birmingham alone. He was hanging around outside and followed her. And then he dragged her into a side street. When he was done, she had a fractured eye socket and four broken ribs. I couldn't let you be in that room alone with him. We can get through this together. 
They're bringing Blake down to join us now. Welcome, everyone. I want to reiterate that it's fine for anyone to take a time out at any point. Be respectful to one another, use appropriate language, and please, no interrupting. Yes. Sure. Lake? The purpose of today's meeting is to discuss the events that took place on Friday the 3rd of April 2020. Blake, can I ask you what happened that night? I assaulted them. Blake, can you talk about what happened that led up to that moment? I, um, <clears throat> Me and my mates, we were outside a gay bar, um, watching people coming in and out. Why? I needed a laugh. A laugh? I know this is emotive, but let's try and keep listening. I'm sorry, I don't get it. What's funny about a gay bar? <sighs> so you think gay people are funny? Emma asked you a question. It was just jokes. Why us? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, this is pointless. It isn't working. I didn't go there with intent or anything. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Well, whether you intended to or not, you still did it. Obviously. Why did you admit to attacking us? Because you got caught. I mean, you didn't have to admit to it. <laughs> well, what more do you want? I want you to know how badly you hurt me and her. Do you know what it actually feels like to be beaten? Emma, don't waste your breath. Do you? I want to go back to myself. Yes, I bet you do. Take me back to myself. I can't say anything right. We, we talked about how this would be uncomfortable at times. Facing up to what you've done is not going to be easy, but you can do this. You told me that you wanted the chance to say sorry. <sighs> I should have been calmer. Oh, please. Why are you so dead set against this working? Are you certain it can? No. But, I mean, I'm willing to give it a chance. You're just going into police mode. We should at least try to do what Ren said, you know? Let him speak. Be honest. Well, if I'm honest, I'd feel better if I could punch him. <laughs> Emma, Jasmine, why don't we talk about the night from your perspective? We went to look for a taxi, and then Blake said something. I asked them if they wanted a ride, and they got salty. Don't pretend like you had good intentions. I was flexing, playing, and then you went and disrespected me. What? You made out like I was small. I think I said something like, are you even old enough to drive? And Your friends that were with you, did you give their names to the police? That's on me. They held on to me. They beat me. Because I told them to. You don't scare me. And we're stronger than ever. Aren't we, Emma? No. We're not. Emma? No, he needs to know this, Jasmine. That night, we argued about whether to go to the police or not. And it wasn't just because you'd hurt us so badly physically. It was because you humiliated us. We were scared. Our relationship did end. And yes, there were other issues, but we might have been able to get past those. How does that make you feel when you hear that, Blake? But How can someone be so full of hate that they can attack two strangers? <laughs> Jasmine? <laughs> Jasmine? <laughs> Oh, what's wrong with me? What's happening? Get the OK, all right, slow down. Slow down, that's it, breathe. With me, in.